it is official. Caitlin Clark has been announced by the WNBA to be the Rookie of the Year. 66 out of 67 voters named her the Rookie of the Year. That's right, she was not unanimous for a historic season unlike any other in league history. Um, there is one voter who I feel um, everyone will be searching for now, and I feel like they should be exposed, quite frankly. I, I think it's indefensible to, um, you know, to essentially rob this young lady of this <laughs> of this historic, you know, unanimous uh, designation. The funniest part of it is, I, I guess that that one person they figured they would be different, and nobody joined them, so they are left alone. And I don't really even know what's funnier, that they don't get exposed or they do get exposed. Because if they do get exposed, I mean, I think everyone should have free reign to question them, to mock them. And you could even go as far as asking for their votes to be revoked in the future. Like, you clearly are not evaluating the game fairly. Um, you're not evaluating the game in a way that makes sense. Um, <laughs> you're not looking at it. If this was like the NBA, you would not have voted the other way on this. Um, so big congratulations goes to Caitlin Clark. Transformed not only a franchise, but transformed the league as well. Um, you know, just sparked interest in a way that is only comparable to the likes of Tiger Woods, Serena Williams, um, you know, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. And just thinking about what her career could be, it's very encouraging uh, to see, you know, the Rookie of the Year award go her direction. I would have loved for it to be unanimous. I can't lie. Uh, I, I think, you know, obviously, let, let's see the stat line. I believe it was like 19 points, um, 8.4 uh, assists led the league in assists and like five or six rebounds. That's absurd um, considering, you know, the, the pace of play, uh, you know, switching to the W and just seeing like exactly like what she was thought to be capable of um, fighting through the Olympic snub, still being awesome in the first half of the year and then taking it to, you know, top player in the league levels. Um, you know, the second half of the season. So looking at um, some of the things that made this season historic, uh, we got the most assists in a single season, mo recorded the most assists in a single game, the fastest player to 300 career assists, recorded the most assists per game by a rookie in a single season, just the third player to average above eight assists a game in a single season, youngest player to lead the league in assists per game, first player to lead the league in assists and threes, made 122 threes, the second most all time, and the most by a rookie in a single season. That record's going down next year became the first rookie to record a triple double and she had two of those i believe and missed out on a third uh, with a nine rebound game i believe um ranked first in points per game by a rookie ranked third in point in rebounds per game by a rookie scored the most points by a rookie in a single season led the fever to franchise records in points per game assists per game and threes per game Fever franchise record for three-pointers, points scored, and double-doubles. Only player to record 750 points, 300 assists, 200 rebounds in any 40-game span. Totaled eight 20.10 assist games, the most in a single season. It's absolute comedy that she was not the unanimous Rookie of the Year. So I did find a video that shows uh caitlin receiving the phone call we're going to check it out together and react to it you just have somebody that wants to have a, a say a couple things really quick so, hi coach size this is wmba commissioner kathy engelberg do we have the team all together Hello. Hey, yes ma'am all right, I know you guys are in Connecticut. Well, uh, but good luck to in tomorrow's playoff game. And is Caitlin Clark in the room? She sure is. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Caitlin, yeah. Caitlin, it feels like just yesterday when I called your name to the stage as the number one pick in this year's draft, you held the Indiana Fever jersey for the first time. And 
what a record-breaking season for you and the entire team full of outstanding performances. And I know all of you had hard work and dedication and it's paid off with your uh, playoffs, et cetera. But, um, and I know the best is yet to come. So Thanks. congratulations, Caitlin. You are the 2024 Kia WNBA Rookie of the Year. I hear the bow, bow, bow in there. And the tongue out on the graphic. Um, I got to say, that doesn't look like a team that is resentful of their star player. That doesn't look like a team that just can't stand to, to see, you know, the environment that they're they're placed in. It doesn't look like a team full of players looking for the exit. Um, seemed like they embrace her quite well. And, um, you know, 66 out of 67, that ain't bad, but it ain't, you know, what it was supposed to be either. Um the other one vote did go to Angel Reese. Had a great rookie season herself. Like, I don't want to, you know, make it sound like I don't think she had a good rookie year. It's just like what Caitlin did is on another level. It's it's worlds apart, um, you know, but you, you got to give a shout out to Angel Reese for uh, leading the league and rebounding, averaging a double double. Um, the team kind of fell apart around her. Uh, especially, you know, now the coach is fired, Teresa Weatherspoon, uh, just a lot of chaos kind of, uh, you know, on, on that end. And, you know, she's got a long way to go, I think, offensively to really be uh, someone you can build around. Because right now for me, it looks like she'll end up being more like of a piece of a champion. Like she can add a lot to a team uh, in a specific role. But if you're going to play through her, I think that's going to be very difficult just, you know, due to her shooting percentages. But um, with Caitlin uh, winning that, that rookie of the year, that's another one, you know, to go on, on the trophy. Uh, now we wait for first team all at WNBA. Uh, we wait to see the rest of the announcements and we enjoy the rest of the playoffs uh, that is happening. Both game twos in the, uh, you know, conference finals, so to say, the semifinals uh, were excellent the other night. Uh, the Sun fought hard, but they couldn't close the gap at the end uh, with the links. And then, you know, the Liberty and Aces took it down to the wire with Sabrina Ionescu just looking like the best player on the floor. Um, just cold blooded in, 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 in the clutch, except for. Um, you know, that one missed free throw she had. Um, I don't, you know, the Ace is going to go out and get swept. That is definitely something to uh, to look for. Um, there was an interview with Asia Wilson. Perhaps I'll look at that on the channel as well. But what you came here for, man, uh, Caitlin Clark is the rookie of the year. And the league finally announced it after weeks and weeks of speculation and everything like that. So uh, very happy to see that is the case. And uh, let's see, let's see Nike say something about it. I, I think, I think we all want to see, you know, w you know, the promotion. We want to see the shoe. We want, you know, to see, see what they're going to do with this, you know, once in a lifetime athlete. So anyway, my name is Rich Latta. I'm up out of here. Peace.